Mm. I started the violin at a very early age. So sa akin, it's been my life. So in that small piece of wood, everything is in it for me. I mean, the emotion, every experience I've had has gone through that instrument. I was 28 years old when I started Casa San Miguel, so I was very idealistic. And the idea was how to bring culture to the, to the rural areas. I thought, if I was doing this in America, I think I'd rather do this kind of work in my own country. One of the first problems we had here was, why classical music, right? I mean, the, the town basically was American-occupied, so everybody worked in the base. So parang the idea of culture was really not expected. Pinatubo erupted in 1991, the Americans left shortly after. From a second class town, kaagad fifth class town kami. People were jobless. So when we were introducing classical music, parang ano yan? We administer a, a test that shows that they have an, an inclination, whether it's visual arts, photography, music, dance, theater, writing, whatever, as long as they can show that they have some of the skills. And apart from that, that they have the parental support. When we started, we didn't really say, magtuturo tayo ng mga mahihira. We just thought, we are here, we will try to develop the area around us. Meron po kasi nagtatanong nun ng scholarship dito sa Kasat. Sabi ko po, gusto ko pong subukan kasi napapanood ko po kasi sa TV yung mga nagbabayolin, kaya po gusto ko rin po matuto. When I first started, I thought I'd like them to be violinists. But the reality is that, well, industrially, there are no jobs anyway. By our 10th year, we were about to close actually. So we started doing a survey, we were asking the kids, ano ba, ano bang dulot sa inyo ng, ng programa dito? And they all shared, you know, the parents and all of our stakeholders said that if not for CASA, their lives would have been different. Kasi when you learn an instrument, it's really about challenges. It's about overcoming yourself. Kasi po, nung una, nung una po, eh, tahimik lang po ako, hindi po ako pala kaibigan. Pag may hawak akong violin, lahat ng feelings ko, ibubuhos ko doon. Kasi po, kukunti na rin po yung mga gumagamit ng violin. Sabi nila po, baduy. Eh, kaya po, proud ako kasi gumagamit ako. Kasi maganda po mag-violin. Pag nagbabayolin ako, naisip ko po na pag mayroon po akong problema, nawawala po. Minsan pong pinapatugtog ako ng mga magulang ko. Minsan po pumutugtog ako. For a child to pick up a violin, play in front of an audience, and you know, 200 people, that's a big moment. It's not, not about good or bad, although we assess them. No? But when you're in the performance or in the exhibit, it's just about the moment. No? It's just being able to stand up for yourself. Pasado ka na. About 70% are from the local community. 20% uh, are from the surrounding community. And 10% are the ones from children of doctors, accountants. So it's, it's about creating some kind of change for people in communities that are not directly going uh, towards building careers. Although we have kids who are in that path. Gab turned up actually one summer camp, just really parang orphan. He turned up on our porch. So he told me, not even asking me, sabi niya, Sir, ano, dito ako titira. He's good, but iba kasing violin good eh. His aptitude is average to above average. I mean, he can do it, but 
there, there's something else, eh? and I think it's in his ear. Kapag na violin ako, parang hindi ako yung tumutugtog. Parang may gab to sa akin. So yung gab to na yun, nagdadala sa akin para tumutugtog. Parang best friend ko na rin yun eh. We're so grateful that a lot of the teachers who mentor are here because they want to pay it forward. I do it because it's the natural course of, it's, it's my logical conclusion, my way of bringing it forward.